All right, hi everybody. I've got a new project. I, uh, I've got this stuff on the top to block the light because the project that we're going to be working on today, uh, this will be my first online project for my new Explorer, is going to be removing the radio because the CDs are stuck and I want to take it out and take out the CDs and possibly repair the unit. Tools that will be used. I'm going to definitely be using this 930 seconds socket with a driver. I'm going to use this as just a an extra pry tool, a little small screwdriver. You can use any kind of small screwdriver as well, but I do recommend a flathead with that. And then I also need this main pry tool. Uh, you could do this with a little strip of plastic that is used to done as a pry tool. I'm using a easy access spatula. So these are the tools that's needed. All right, grabbing my tools. Let's get to work. All right, so what we're going to start out doing is we're going to take out this surround section. It's really easy. What's holding them in are retainer clips. You have basically a clip behind here somewhere, another one behind here, and towards the bottom in this corner, and then you have guide pins on this side. What has worked for me was using my little flat edge, getting it right in between, a little gap in between there, getting it right in between, and kind of prying it to pop it out. Now what I was able to do was get one side and you just do a nice even pressure to pop that out and that's going to allow that one corner to pop up. What I did then was I used my secondary screwdriver, flathead, to kind of hold in place. So I pry it to pop it out, pry it to pop it out, and then use secondary screwdriver to hold in place, moved over and kind of slightly pried, slightly pried, and I did this going all the way around until I got all pieces off which basically slid out like that. Now, once you get this off, you will first start out by disconnecting two simple little connector cables, especially if you've got these units on the side of yours. There's the plug here. And you see that little clip right there? Get a little focus in on that for you. See if I get that focus. There we go. So you'll press that clip in and that just simply slides out. On the other side, similar, but let me show you where the clip is. Clip for that one is right here. Press it in, and it slides out. Now, there's also some wires on the bottom. I'm not going to worry about that because it's not going to be in my way. So, basically, I'm just going to let that be hanging just like it is. Now, the next thing that you'll be doing is the real simple My Radio or CD changers, this, this, uh, I'm assuming it's a factory one, has no screws on top, it just has two right here and some guide pins. So that's where I'm gonna use my 930 seconds socket drive. I'm basically gonna take these out. So taking out the first one. I've already pre-done this, of course, for you guys so that it'll be faster. You're not wasting a lot of time watching me unscrew something all right so just to show you the detail of this especially when you go to put it back in see right there see if I can get that focus for you that's a little guide pin it's another one on this side as well so when you go to put it back in make sure those guide pins help to line up your radio okay so get those guide pins in the first hole and then your screws goes in these other little holes, all right? So anyway, once you get to that point, you'll just slide it on out. Carefully, just let it come down a little bit. Now you're gonna have some more items in the back. In the back, you're gonna have your antenna cable. Then you're gonna have all your different wires for your power and your speakers and so on and so forth. So antenna cable is easy. You wanna just kind of twist a little bit while pulling straight out. See how it's etching there? There we go, that's your antenna one. And your other ones are just like any other connector, you're just gonna press your tabs. So on this side I have this tab that I'll press in and pull. On the other one, the tab is right here. Let's see if I can get that focus for you. Tab is right there, I'm pressing that in. I'm gonna try to pull at the same time here. I can do this one-handed for you guys, my usual trick. Nope, okay, I'm gonna do the other side first then. So 
The other side has a tab behind. Behind is a tab similar to that one. I'm going to press in and pull straight out like that. That'll give me a little bit more finger room for this one to try to press in and then pull out. Try to carefully get in there to it. It's a little bit difficult, but I think I can do it with one hand. I can't do it one hand, so I'll have my trusty assistant hold the camera yeah. for me. Okay. And we're going to get a little focus in there. All right. So I'm going to take some of the load bearing weight off of it by holding it up, keeping that cable slack. See if you can come up on top for me, Chris. All right. There we go. Great shot. I'm going to push that in the tab and pull it up. Yep, that made all the difference in the world, taking off the slack. All right, so simple enough. The unit is out, and I'm going to go get this on the workbench, take it apart, and um, see if I can get the CDs out and see if I can get the unit working. There's lots of other YouTube videos out there for uh, fixing these CD players, the standard ones in the car, so I'd say go check those out. Um, I watched a couple of them myself to see how to do it. If I run into anything different from what's already out there on YouTube, I will make a second part, which is to uh, take this one apart and, and see if it can be fixed. All right, guys. Um, thank you very much. This is for my O2 Explorer. Um, pretty sure it will work for other vehicles as well. Removing that center panel. Again, this is my new car and to my onslaught of vehicles. Of course, you know I like to work on my car and my mom's car and my wife's car. So in my onslaught, I do have an 02 Explorer now, 91 Explorer still, an 03 Toyota Matrix, and a 91 Honda Accord Anniversary Edition. So if you have any of those vehicles, check out my videos for simple repair stuff that I've done on those vehicles as repair has been needed. And subscribe so you get updated for when I send any stuff online. Talk to you later. Thank you very much.